So here's the uh, AMX uh, before I take it to bits. It's uh, con for controlling uh, a video in uh, environment in lecture centres or uh, offices. Rather nice unit, uh, seven inch touchscreen, programmable uh, if you've got the right software. So the first thing is uh, the back comes off, that's uh, sort of lever it out, comes off quite easy and you can see the uh, back of the uh, touch screen which is uh, quite a big one. There's the um, uh, the bottom, now you can undo the uh, crosshead screws there, the other ones are rivets and that will release the uh, plastic top which is there and then you see the rest of the uh, the board uh, for controlling the monitor with uh, all sorts of things so all of this is going to come out uh, and uh, the ports down and the Raspberry Pi go inside so uh, there's the first bit of the electronics off the uh, metal base plate and uh, the next thing is to uh, take the uh, the screen to bits um, so you unplug it that's just to show the, the bits you unplug maybe some useful bits there for people so uh, that's the uh, two screws you take out from the long holes not the uh, closer ones together and that takes the uh, chrome bits off which hides the hinge and then uh, that's the uh, back of the uh, screen plastic that's come off. Uh, that was more brute force and ignorance from what I remember. There we go. That's, uh, that's off. There were, I think there were four screws, yeah, four Phillips screws that held those, uh, uh, that on. That's another view of it. Uh, all the screws there that I've taken out. You can see there's uh, uh, eight screws that hold that screen on and uh, the metal work and then that front panel comes off and uh, you've got to cut some of the uh, bits of plastic off that front panel to uh, fit the uh, new screen in. So uh, there's the uh, metal surround with and the screen sort of sits inside it on the uh, original AMX so uh, you can see now on the left is my uh, standard Raspberry Pi 7 inch touch screen with a slightly broken uh, surround and on the right is the AMX one and there is the uh, the AMX just lifts out of that uh, metal support and uh, there's the electronics behind it as well which uh, you uh, lift out uh, from the metal support and that leaves you the base, the hinge and the metal support of the old 7 inch screen which is uh, with a big hole in the middle of it So this is what we're going to do with that screen, we're going to stick that in front of the metal on the right. That's me trying it uh, against it. Uh, so. You can see the, uh, the top and bottom screws are just outside the uh, surround for the Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi uh, touchscreen. There you are, you can just see at the bottom of the screen there's screw holes on the outside of the Pi screen and that's what's going to hold the Pi screen in place, squeezing it between uh, that, uh, that front plastic cover and uh, the uh, metal surround. That metal, that uh, plastic cover has bits removed. Those bits removed, you'll as you'll find it's at the sides mainly, not top and bottom, just the sides. You remove bits of plastic to sit the screen in the slot. It uh, doesn't go flush. It, uh, there will be a gap. 
uh, it'll be lining up with the uh, the where the screws that holds the metal back plane to that front bit of plastic so uh, that's putting the uh, the screen onto the front bit of plastic and it's obvious which way it goes up uh, so that the electronics for the screen sit against the that metal back plane uh, I've, uh, and there's two um, uh, and there it goes it looks from the front so it just looks like the original screen but it, there is a, a gap all the way around the outside uh, if you look sort of sideways it's not flush up against the plastic but I don't think that matters too much and the uh, li there's the uh, touch button at the bottom which I've taken out which is where the Pi camera will go that's the uh, screen already in So the only problem is that the uh, the flexible piece of uh, connector to from the screen electronics to the Pi needs to be longer than the one I actually had with it. So I've I've got a slightly longer one. Uh, so this is just uh, making sure it's all going to work feeding it through the hinge, the uh, flexible bits through the hinge and there we are, it's, that's proved that it works for a start it's always good to know that halfway through a project it is actually going to work at the end of the day So that's showing I had to cut a bit more out of the, to put the Pi camera in, you've got to take a little bit out the top of the, where the push button is at the bottom, so that the Pi camera will fit flat against the front of it. Uh, it's sort of slightly, not in the middle of the button, it's slightly to the top of the button. And then you uh, cut, a bit of the plastic away and uh, fit it there that way up uh, so the uh, flexible ribbon cable is at the bottom of the screen so uh, putting it back together again now yes it still works don't think you can see the camera on that one, it's a bit dark. You might have to take it to bits and put it back together a few times. Now that the, the back of the screen goes over at a diagonally over the base and it will fit on like that. So that's now with the the front of the screen connected to the metal back plate with four screws top and bottom and now that's the back cover fitted with another four screws and that's the hinge plate oh and I've um, used the fan and connection uh, the back of um, a Raspberry Pi case but only a part of the case because you're a bit limited with the height but that means there's a fan that fan lines up with holes that are in the uh, cover for the base so uh, it's all connected to um, a USB 12 volt uh, to USB uh, box there still working that's with the Lime Mini connected that's the the top of the base there uh, you can't quite see the camera at the bottom very well there uh, but it is there uh, when I cut the plastic for the of the button for the camera yeah you are the camera works 
I uh, bit of, made a bit of a mess as um, it, you could do a better job so be careful when you're cutting the plastic for the button to fit the pie cam that you don't go through to the front like I did. That's with the uh, base on the bottom. It is a bit of a tight squeeze but the base is plastic and bends. That's it so uh, that's with the Raspberry Pi in the leads you need coming out the back they go to the uh, USB splitter and uh, which also powers the uh, the monitor and the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi and that's it